What is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC. No, it's not VGC. Just kidding. It's the Ultra Callus Classic that we are doing today. In the last episode, highly recommend go checking out this crazy second battle. But we're not doing too bad right now. I don't know what my exact record is. I'm pretty sure I'm like 13 and 7, I think that's my record or something like that. I really don't remember. But we got our first opponent, Yellow. Yellow, my friend. Uh, we got the Rotom Wash, Weavile, Mawile, Needle King, Garchomp, and Zapdos. So two potential Mega Evolutions, most likely Mawile, 100% one, and Garchomp, a regular, I would assume, but who knows? It could be Mega Garchomp, it could be regular Mawile with like Sheer Force or Stealth Rock lead. Hmm. Needle King does re. I mean, not Needle King. Nido King does do really well against my team, though. It really does. Uh, Rotom. <sighs> okay, I like... Okay, I like Charizard if I can set up. Charizard Lady wins if I set up. So, I think I want my rocks up for sure. I think I want to go Tyranitar, Greninja, and Charizard because I think those are my best options against my opponent's team. Let's try it out. I could have—I was thinking maybe Aegislash over Greninja, but I think having that offensive pressure against uh, Needle King could be really good here. Um, I just need to weaken things, so I just want my rocks up. Because rocks should allow me to sweep with Charizard, depending on the Zapdos set. If I had Fire Blast, I'd be really confident here. Well, th that depends on if I hit Fire Blast, too. Uh, here comes the Rotom lead. I do need to weaken this Pokemon, too, for my Charizard, but we'll see here. I will get on my rocks here on a Wisp or Hydro Pump, potentially. We are going to see just a Hydro Pump. It does connect. Gets it. That's not a crit. Okay, that's specs. You're definitely specs, my friend. So I don't need Time Ratar. I just need it for rocks. Yeah, you're 100% specs. I'm just going to crunch. Hydro Pump. Time Ratar actually avoids the attack, so I get bit more chip onto the Rotom, which is actually pretty nice. Oh, look at that beautiful damage. That damage is absolutely beautiful. And, uh, we'll go for Pursuit here, I guess, in case the Rotom decides to switch out as Hydro Pump. <laughs> okay, Tyranitar does not care about, it does not want to take a bath, my friends. It does not want to take a bath, a bit unfortunate. But hey, what can I do against that? So I get rid of the Rotom really nice. This Mawile is going to come out. I have no idea what the last Pokemon is though. That's like my main issue. Like I'm really scared of that last Pokemon. Also, you could Swords Dance against me. Oh, I, I'm going to Stone Edge here. Sucker. In normal form, okay. Doesn't even knock out. That's pathetic. Get Stone Edge off. I get crit too. Oh, jeez. This Tyranitar is... You gotta play the lottery, my Tyranitar friend. Okay, we're gonna go for Stone Edge here. Even if this Mawile sets up, I have my Greninja. So I'm still okay here. If it was just gonna suck, I could've switched Heart and Tyranitar. But I didn't want to take an Iron Head or a player up because that would have put me in range of Sucker Punch most likely. Sucker Punch once again, which is fine. Knocks out my Charizard. Sandstorm subsides. I get to go Grinning. I think Grinning is the call because I get basically a lot of damage. I could also alternatively go into Charizard. I just don't know what your last Pokemon is in the back. I'm gonna go my Greninja here, though. I think I'm gonna fire for Scald. Yeah, it's, I don't see a reason not to throw for Scald here. Yeah, my opponent's team doesn't like Scald at all, so I will just throw for Scald here. If Maul wants to switch out, so be it, but stays in, so I think it gets knocked out by a Scald at this range. Yeah, it does, okay. 
and I get to keep my sash, which is great. So it comes down to the last Pokemon, and I'm looking pretty good in this matchup, depending on all of them, actually. Garchomp's gonna come out great. I do have that sash. Scarf Rock Slide's the only thing that can save you. It's Lay Scarf Rock Slide. But goes for Earthquake. So one, that is Scarf, so my Charizard technically be anyway, and two, I have my sash. And I don't even need my Sash to proc. So Greninja going to be able to fire off an Ice Beam. Yeah, that, that was a tough part. That was a tough part that I was trying to figure out. Because yes, I knew... Like, miss, the Hydro Pumps miss were amazing for me here. Absolutely. Like, getting the Hydro Pump misses were fantastic for me. Because of the fact that... That's my opponent rage quits. But, uh, yeah, having the... Hydro Pump misses were great because I would have had to play mind games against a Rotom because I would have to figure out like what Rotom really switches out into or if it stays in because if it stays in I think I want to go for Flame Charge twice because I think it should be able to knock out the Rotom and then I have to be my opponent's entire team but I take too much damage to where I put in range of Sucker Punch and then the Garchomp can revenge KO me so it would have been really tough to win that game no matter what. As we got Danny, 1575 rating. Maybe I need a Gliscor instead of Charizard. Because I think it would have been more efficient. But here we go. Greninja, Dragonite, Charizard, Mamoswine, Bisharp, and Gliscor. So I wonder if it's a Charizard X or a Charizard Y here. I could see both. On this team. This team is really scary. I think I want Rocks up. Bisharp's really scary though against my team. Don't think Age of Slash is good. Greninja is good against Revenge Kaling, but I don't think it's going to be too solid otherwise. Um, I think I need Bisharp. I mean, Gliscor, Tyranitar, and Charizard. Those look like my main damage outputs that could do well against my opponent's team, and I think I will go those Pokemon. Like, Greninja is good in this matchup, but the problem is, one, I definitely think I do need rocks for the multi-scale on the Dragonite. Two, I think I need Gliscor in order to check my opponent. And three, the Charizard's pretty good at sweeping in the endgame. Also decent against my opponent's Greninja. So, we'll see how this goes. So, let's see what my opponent decides to lead. Going to be the Greninja. So, I get to get on my rocks here, which is pretty solid. Unless you have Taunt. You could go for Taunt right away. I really do want my Rocks up though, because they're so important for the Dragonite. This might be like a Spike Setter, because my opponent's team does look like it can sweep. But yeah, I'll set up my Rocks here. This Hydro Pump's going to come out. Okay, that's going to hurt, but I shouldn't knock out my Tyranitar. Oh, <laughs> this Tyranitar doesn't like taking Hydro Pumps. Does not, take, does not like taking Baths. All right. Honestly, the damage on Greninja really doesn't matter because I'll always be able to Solar Beam this Pokemon. So I'll just go for the Stone Edge right here and risk it. Hydro Pump. Does connect out this time. Oh, wow. It's like barely a two-shot. I should have invested in some spe special defense. Stone Edge does connect, though. That should knock out Greninja. Yeah. So we get rid of Greninja there really nice as we are able to snag a knockout on a really threatening Pokemon to my Glyde score. What's coming out is my question. Nothing really likes taking on Tyranitar. Fortunately, my Charizard... Well, if Charizard in the back, it takes 50% from rocks. Charizard is actually going to come out, so definitely, definitely likey here. Um, might as well just go for Stone Edge here. Charizard Y is going to come out. So it's the Charizard Y variant, which makes it easier to handle, I think. Now, I don't know what's going for. Solar Beam? Probably Solar Beam is the safest option you have. If you're going to go for Focus Blast, uh, you have that shot to miss. It is the Focus Blast coming out. We do have the Chapel, but we're not going to live this in the sun. I think I might have been able to live in the sand, but definitely not in the sun. So Tyranitar, definitely going to go down here, which is completely all right. As I think Char uh, Tyranitar did his job here. And I am going to be forced to go out into my Charizard here. For sure. 
So if it's focus blast, you want to assume solar beam, a fire type attack, and then what is your last one? Uh, no matter what, I'm pretty good against my opponent's team, except a Dragonite. The Dragonite's still an issue. Actually, I think Dragonite's easier to handle though. I think I'll go for a flame charge here. Yeah. Actually, did I need to go for flame charge? I should have thought about that more. One, I could be put in range of Bishop Sucker Punch or Dragon Knight's Extreme Speed, which could be really bad. Well, I do want to outspeed this Charizard no matter what. Do a decent amount. That's not a bad damage. Flame are gonna come out. Okay, so you're flame or yourself. Why did that do so much? Oh, that's a crit, that's why, okay. I was just about to say, that shouldn't have done too much. Uh, I'll go for Flamethrower myself, it is in the sun, and I should be able to knock out Charizard the, at this range, I think. And I didn't want to risk like two speed ties, so Flamethrower does knock out Charizard, that's great. And now it comes down to that last Pokemon. If it's Dragonite, I click HP Ice 100%. If it's Bisharp, Mammal Swine, I just attack. What's the last Pokemon? Zapdos? Was there a Zapdos? I forgot. Or was that the last game? All I know is you have a Bisharp, Mammal Swine, Dragonite does come out. Okay. So my opponent might be thinking this is the time to Dragon Dance against the Charizard. I do have Hidden Power Ice though. So I will go for the Hidden Power Ice. I just don't know if you have Extreme Spear or not. This is where it gets difficult. Okay, nice. You're going to go for Setup. So I think Hidden Power Ice should be able to knock you out. Nice, Charizard coming in through. So we get rid of that Dragonite there. Tyranitar putting in a ton of work this episode. Just just does not want to take these Hydro Pumps. It does not like water. Rock types do not like water, my friends. Does not like taking baths. And uh, Tyranitar can stay dirty in the sand as much as it wants. Because it is putting in work. So... Would have been difficult to handle because of the situation. I'm just lucky my opponent was forced to Dragon Dance there, most likely. Because most likely you couldn't touch any other of my Pokemon without a Dragon Dance. Like, if I had Greninja in the back... Well, if I had Greninja in the back over Gliscor, you would still be in a lot of trouble. I brought Gliscor as a back advancer to maybe Charizard X. As well as, as I said, the Bishop was a scary Pokemon. <clears throat> to deal with. But anyway, nice, nice. This team is putting in some work. We got our goal mid-1600s. Not the cleanest way, but it is Pokemon. And those are the risks you take with inaccurate moves, which is why I don't run Fire Blast or Hydro Pole on this team. I run Stone Edge, though. I run Stone Edge. I think it was for, like, Bulky Zapdos and Charizard X I ran it for. Yeah. All right, Apollo, your team is Garchomp. Gyarados, Talonflame, Gliscor, Medicham, and Sylveon. Now, Medicham is a very scary Pokemon in general. It is so scary. Talonflame is also really scary. Ah, uh, what do I like here? Double two Pokemon weak to Greninja, which is okay. Oh, Mega Gyarados too. If it's Mega Gyarados, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think I'm gonna lead off Greninja with Charizard and Aegislash in the back. I think I'm gonna use Aegislash to pivot around. I don't want a Gliscor leading or anything like that. And I could probably pressure a lot of my opponent's team with my uh, with my Greninja just leading. Because Metacham is forced to probably just go for like a fake out right away. And I could probably get a free Toxic off into something. Let's see. If you do leave Metacham. You might bring the Gyarados instead. It is the Gyarados. Oh boy that Pokemon's so threatening. I think I need to go for the burn. I don't think there's an actual way to stop it. I think I have to go for the burn. I think there's no other way. I think I'll go for the Scald Burn. I think I have to go for a Scald Burn turn one because I just don't see myself being able to beat the Gyarados. It goes for Crunch right away though. Huh. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to Dark Pulse and see if I can resist the Crunch right here. I'm really surprised that we saw the Crunch right away, though. Gonna be able to get a Dark Pulse. Crunch again. I'm not gonna live another one. I'll go for Ice Beam here because uh, if my opponent wants to set up Ice Beam and a Water Shurikens, might be able to get this Gyarados. Surprisingly, it's not going uh, for Dragon Dance, so I wonder if this is like a different kind of Gyarados. Goes for Earthquake, okay. on my Greninja, so be it. If there's any Pokemon to get in here, I think it's Charizard. Ah, uh, but are you Scarf on the Garchomp or not? Nah, that's the big question. I'm gonna go for Flame Charge. I mean, if you're Mega Garrett, I mean, if you have Crunch, I feel like you're Mega. You're not banded. What kind of Gar Gyarados are you? Or do you just have Dragon Dance and decide uh, I'd rather get rid of Greninja? All right, let's see. Let's see what's coming up. Garchomp. So I'm guessing it's Scarf. I'm gonna go my Age Slash here. Oh boy. I'm betting that this is Scarf, which is why I'm making this play. Otherwise, if it's not Scarf, I'm in the- Oh, it's Mega. Not what I expected at all. And it goes for Dragon Claw, so it might not actually have anything. Or my Charizard. Or I expected to switch, which I could agree with. I don't know what you're going for. <sighs> okay, if you go for sub, it's not too bad for me since I don't think HP Ice would knock you out. If you're going for Earthquake, this works out. If you go for Sword Stance, though, I'm in trouble. But you go for Earthquake, which is good. Oh, I never revealed if it was Charizard X or Y. That's why. I wonder if my opponent's scared of uh, which Charizard I am. Oh, please click Dragon Claw again. If you click a rock move, I think I'm doomed. Well, I was doomed anyway. This guard time's actually a problem. But it's a mega guard time. There's no there's no um Meta Champ in the back. What's your last? If I came and break through this guard champ, we'll find out. Hidden Power Ice won't knock out. Okay, Charizard, I uh I kinda doubted you. I'm sorry I did, but uh we'll find out what you the last Pokemon is. Okay, Charizard's just putting a ton of work. I didn't think that would KO. I thought it would do like 80, 90. My opponent rage quits. <laughs> what is going on? I'm on this winning streak. I do know that at least. Too bad uh, the points won't show up right away, but uh, yeah, let's get it. Maybe 1700 is possible. Who knows? Uh, we'll aim for it. I guess. Well, we only have this episode and then the last episode, which is the next episode. So, can we get 1700? I think we would have to win all of them in a row. We can't afford to lose any because if we lose any, I think we would uh, basically forfeit that. So, let's see. Also, we've been doing a lot of battles. Well, then again, usually... Huh. Yeah, we've done a lot. But then again, I never played on one card alone. We got Lux from the United States of Texas. Well, Texas of the United States. Uh, ooh, that's cool. Chestnut, Aegislash, Tyranitar, Venusaur, Skarmory, and Garcha. Three potential Mega Evolutions. I think Venusaur has to be one of them at least. Skarmory's a little bit scary. So is Garcha plus... Um... Garchomp plus the Tyranitar. If I can get rid of those Pokemon, I feel really sad about my position. Skarmory is a little bit annoying. I think... Would you be Scarf Garchomp on this team, though? I feel like you would. You don't have much to revenge KO otherwise. I think I'm gonna go... I don't know if you're going to lead Tyranitar or Skarmory. I don't know if one of them is your rocks user. 
I think I'm going to try Zapdos lead because I think it's neutral against pretty much everything, especially if my opponent leads Skarmory here. Gliscor pretty much can switch into like Tyranitar and Garchomp and Charizard in the back because I do need Charizard in this matchup because it helps against like Venusaur as well as the... Um, it does pretty well against my opponent's team overall. I'm guessing no Chestnut. He well, Fighting types are decent against my team, but we'll find out. Here comes the Zapdos lead against a Garchomp. Okay, I would have preferred leading Glasscore. Good to know. I uh, know this is his Rock Caesar. Could be. I think it could be Scarf Garchomp potentially. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I am gonna go hard in a Glasscore. My opponent might be able to get up rocks. So I might just go for like a Rock move. We're actually gonna see the Garchomp double out here into Tyranitar. So I'll definitely take this turn because it benefits me. I do get basically my Gliscor in and that is going to be able to put in a ton of work against my opponent's team. So get Gliscor in. I wonder if my opponent was scared of the HP ice. I mean, it was a good play. It was a good play all around. I'm going to go for sub here. As time is going to switch out, which is actually great. Ah, Skarmory comes in though. So I know all of my opponent's Pokemon now. Should I attempt, attempt guillotines? I don't even know. I mean, I could attempt one, but the problem is Skarmory, well, spikes don't matter at all. The only thing that matters are rocks. I'm gonna go with Zapdos. You're definitely not going to double out Skarmory, in my opinion. Oh man, Skarmory is always a pain here. I'm going to go Zapdos here. And I think... Toxic. I should have just tried one guillotine first. Alright, so that's Toxic. Oh, that's annoying. Garchomp should be coming. I don't know if Garchomp or Tyranitar comes out. I'm going to double into Glasscore, and then I think I'm going to double back into my... Uh, I think I'm going to double back out into my uh, Char Charizard. Scarmy going to retreat. Tyranitar. Yep. So I get Poison Heal. And now I'm going to double into my Charizard here. And I think go for HP Ice. I hope you don't draw off a Stone Edge. You could potentially, but I think Skarmory is the safe play. Ah, rocks. Sand is gone, though. <sighs> rocks are so bad for me. I want to go for Hidden Power so bad. I could go into Gliscor here, potentially. But the problem is if I go to Gliscor, that's Skarmory. That gives Skarmory a free chance. I could go for Solar Beam here. Because it does knock out... It does probably knock out Tyrant. You know, I'll risk Solar Beam here. What's coming out? Garchomp? Because I don't know if Hidden Power Ice even knocks out Garchomp, which is the reason I want to make this play. At least I know that Skarmory probably can't touch me. Ah, uh, this might be a game where the 1 HP difference on Charizard might matter if it's Whirlwind on the Skarmory. I mean, if HP Ice didn't knock out Garchomp, this is the best play anyway, because I do need the damage on to the Garchomp no matter what. Ooh, that's big damage. Ah, uh, HP Ice would have knocked out. I could have got a big knockout right there. That sucks. All right, looks like my opponent didn't switch, so I get Gliscor in. Rock Tomb, okay. I mean, if you set up rocks with Tyranitar, I'm guessing this is maybe Scarf on the Glis on the Garchomp. Oh no, you might. Yeah, it might be. I'm gonna Guillotine here, throw one off. See if I can catch maybe Skarmory and force it to Roost. Because the point is. Even if I don't want to double and my opponent just goes for double rock tomb. So Skarmory comes out. 
I know sturdy. Oh, right, sturdy doesn't work. That way. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna throw off an earthquake. I could see doubling or going for whirlwind. Girl pack, okay. It's a mind game of do you predict me to switch? It's literally that mind game. I'm gonna go for Earthquake again because Zapdos is like a switch and I could make, but it looks like my opponent's not. Keeps going for Drill Pack, okay. Hmm. Man, so I could go into Zapdos here. I'm gonna go Zapdos. Rocks, drill pack. Uh, I think I'm gonna defog here because I do need to get rid of the rocks. Or should I just Thunderbolt immediately? Because if I Thunderbolt immediately, it might not be too bad. Because Tyranitar would probably be your switching. And then maybe I can play a mind game with my opponent. Because I do need to weaken the... Yeah, I need to weaken the Tyranitar at this point. Skarmory gonna retreat. Yeah, Tyranitar comes out. So I do need that damage for Solar Beam. Because I'm pretty sure I do need that damage for Solar Beam. I'll sack my... Uh, I'll sack my uh, Zapdos here. And try to get a knockout. Thunderbolt. That does absolutely nothing. But we do get a Paralysis though. Which is nice. But it's a Lumberry Tyranitar. Okay, let's get a defog up. I really wish I had focus blast. This is a game where I want focus blast. Defog. Away to rocks. Also, if I hit in power ice, I would have actually been in a pretty solid position too. Rocks are gonna come out. So I'll lose my Zapdos here, but I get my free switch into my Charizard here. Uh, but the problem is I can't knock out the Skarmory in one shot. I go Charizard here. I don't think Charizard should risk the Solar Beam. I think you always switch out. I think you switch out into... Who are you going to switch out into? Skarmory or uh, Garchomp? I think I'm going to Flamethrower here. Although I really could see you sacking your uh, Garchomp right here. I don't think Tyranitar should ever, ever stay in. Yeah, it should never stay in. It's coming out. Skarmory does come out. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. So I get a flamethrower off. Brings it down to sturdy. Do I get a burn? A burn would secure... <gasps> oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. The plan I was going to go for was Flamethrower to Skarmory right there, right? He's going to probably double back into Tyranitar or maybe go into Garchomp. I go out into my Gliscor and then I hope I can double out the Gliscor and catch the Tyranitar and maybe setting up rocks again. And then I can get a position where I can get a knockout with Solar Beam and then we repeat the process. Oh, but that burn makes it absolutely huge because now I think my Gliscor can win. Although if you have Ice Beam or Ice Punch, we're still in a bit of trouble, but I think I'm forced to switch out here and get Gliscor in. You're gonna go for rocks, okay. Oh boy. Sub here? I could protect. I just don't want to give my opponent a chance to... Well, if it's Rocks, Garcha, I mean, Tyranitar, I don't think you have a setup option. I might as well just protect here and scout. Let's see. Rock slide, okay. I don't know if you're expecting the Charizard uh, scouting for the Ice Punch. Well, if you had Ice Punch, I think you would have tried it. I'm going to Earthquake here. Earthquake should be a 2 a KO. Well, actually, I can't tell. This might be a bulky Tyranitar set. Okay, it looks like it's a 2 KO though. 
Rock slide once again, okay. Doesn't do too much. I'm not gonna waste my time protect. Uh, can I waste my time protecting? I don't have to waste my time protecting. Yeah, I don't have to. I'm just gonna five earthquakes. There's no reason not to. So go for the earthquake, knock out the Tyranitar, and now it's the Garchomp. And I think we actually got this. I think we actually got this. Yeah, because I'm going to Earthquake here. Outrage, so I'm guessing a Scarf. That does absolutely nothing. Go for the Earthquake. Doesn't knock out Garchomp, but I didn't expect it to. Sandstorm subsides, get a bit of Poison Heal. Protect. And that's, well, if he crits me, well, you still have to fight through confusion, I think. You get confused? Yeah, you do get confused. So you have to fight through confusion, you have to crit my glass score, and you have to break through confusion twice. Yeah. So we'll go for Earthquake here. And right, my opponent still has a chance. We'll see. It's itself, and now be game. So... That flamethrower burn was really lucky, but again, well, basically what the flamethrower did is it, I didn't need the burn to win, but it just pretty much took away a big chance of my opponent winning. So if my plan worked, I could have potentially, as long as I got like a KO every time Charizard got in, I could have been actually pretty golden in the matchup, but uh, it just really came down to that. It just really came down to do I call my opponent's doubles or my opponent calls my doubles. It really just comes down to a bunch of mind games. The flamethrower burn just took around, just took away pretty much any revenue of my opponent winning because the Glasgow was just able to win the game from there. But it would have been interesting to see what would have happened without that a burn. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, if you did like today's episode of Singles Battle Spot, not Singles Battle Spot, the Ultra Callus Classic. Please leave a like down below, show some support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description with my social medias, the side tiers, more battling action with VDC and singles battle spot. You can also follow my Twitch channel, and of course, feel free to leave a comment down below as I do read them. Otherwise, have a great day, people, and until we battle again, I'll catch you all later.